Pakau Pungkisadun Lahili Kenne is Helsinki's commuter rail system, serving the Great Helsinki region out of Helsingin Paraltatiasema, the Helsinki Central Station. Runners are part of Helsingin Selden Likennem, their regional transport authority. It serves the municipalities of Espo, Helsinki, Kauniainen, Keraba, Kirikonomi, and Vanta. There are a total of 15 services, which stop at 70 stations, 14 of which are located within the city of Helsinki itself. The main branch of this line is Keharata, the ring rail line that opened in 2015, finally connecting Vanta Lento Asema, Helsinki Airport, to the railway network. While in Finland, I did use this train fairly often, as on my first night I travelled between airport and city, before returning back to Tikkurila for an intercity train to Lappenranta. After losing my passport and sticking around in Vanta for a couple of extra days, this was also my main connection between Haikahayo Station and the city. The commuter rail system started running services in 1969, but before this, trains were running from the 1880s, but offered only a service as part of the Parata main line up to Rokola in Vanta. Years of neglect, however, and the service proving unpopular, the government decided that they would upgrade the line to improve usership. This led to electrification starting in the late 1960s, with sections of tracks worked at any given time, and by 1981, electrification finally reached Karava and commuter services ran the entire length of the line. Trains used on this system today is the J-Quake class SM5. These are low-floor electrical multiple units built in 2009, with the last train constructed in late 2017. There are 81 train sets in total. Built in Sweden by Stadler Rail, they are part of the modular Stadler Flirt family of trains. These, however, are built to the wider Russian gauge track, as opposed to the standard European gauge, meaning that these were delivered by boat, rather than driven to Helsinki, or shipped by rail. Because of the wider track, it does also mean that these trains are also much wider than those you'd find anywhere else in Europe. These locomotives have a width of 3 meters 20 or 10 foot 6, massive compared to the standard British Mark III carriage, which only has a width of 2 meters 82 or 9 foot 2. This width means that the interior of the trains does not feel cramped at all, with fairly wide seats three abreast and plenty of standing space in the rare chance that these trains also get crowded. With the Ring Rail Line opening only in 2015, there are also a number of new stations along the line. Vanta Airport Station, for example, is a masterpiece with massive towering walls on either side, decorated with the history of Finland. The tunnels that lead in and out of the station are also massive, with steel doors that can be closed in the event of emergency either side of the track. Vanta Airport Station was also built with mainline services in mind, this means that the tunnels are also definitely capable of holding the double-decker trains, if VR so choose to use them, in and out of the airports. The result of this is a massive underground station that is just mesmerising to look at. You can only really get a feel for the scale of this by standing in the station yourself and just seeing how much these walls tower over you. In fact, all of the stations along the line were very modern and did give you a lot to look at while you were waiting for your train. For me, however, I enjoyed the section of track that led out of Helsinki Central Station, where intercity services pass at speed over the lake right outside the station boundary. All of the stations and trains were also surprisingly clean. Compared to British Rail, there was not a single bit of litter anywhere in sight. The SM5s also still had that new train smell from being so well kept since new. Tickets are also very cheap and are shared with buses and trams. As all public transport in Finland is nationalised, instead of paying for each method of transport you take, you instead pay for a regional ticket that lets you travel freely between Helsinki, Espoo and Vanta. Costs vary depending on what regions you travel on, but will never exceed €7.20 or £6.30 for an hour of unlimited travel. Train announcements are also done in three languages, first in Finnish, then in Swedish and finally in English. This is because all three languages are officially recognised in Finland, with a high number of tourists arriving from Sweden and the rest of the world, and also being the most common languages taught in schools. At first I was a little confused by the system, as I was only expecting announcements to be made in Finnish, 
but it was quite clear to me within the first three stops of how the system worked. As a tourist especially, in my first time in Finland, this was very much appreciated as it did mean I never got lost at any point on public transport. In all, I made seven trips on these trains while I stayed in Finland, and had a pleasurable service on all of them. This included a conversation with two ticket inspectors on my first night, and a chat with a police officer, helping a guy who dropped his phone onto the tracks below. And with that, my time on the Helsinki Regional Rail System comes to an end. If you are interested in what I did in Finland, do check out this vlog on my friend's channel where she talks about the things I did while I stayed in Lappenranta.